Hey guys, this is Base Machine 2.5. It's the newest version of my Base Machine tool. If you're not familiar with Base Machine, it's basically like a Swiss Army knife for uh, of, of base tools. It kind of does a little bit of everything and you can mix and layer loads and loads of different sounds and options. So what we've got here, we have several different layers, uh, nine total actually. So we've got our sub bass layer, uh, three bass layers. We got an acid line layer. With this, if you want it to self-create, Acid lines, you'll want to download this for free. It's called Sting, uh, and then it'll load up. Uh, everything else runs perfectly if you have Ableton Suite. This runs in Ableton 11, so you'll need Ableton 11 for this version of Bass Machine. Next, we have click layers, and these are just uh, extra transients that will kind of help a sound cut through. And then I have two kind of real filthy synthesizers for more of your, your dirty sounds, dubstep sounds, and, and things like that. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll just kind of give you a walkthrough of some of the sounds that are included and how this works. So by default, none of these layers are on, okay? So what you would do is you would choose your layer and then when you come over to select, then you can choose the sound on that layer. So when it's on zero, it's silent. And then as you move this, you get different sound. Now you're gonna need headphones for these subs, but they're monster sounding subs. And I won't spend too much time on this just because a lot of you probably can't hear this. But... A lot of these subs have a, a, a harder time kind of cutting through just because they don't have that high, higher frequency. So that's where you would add something like a click. So the click is just, I have loads of different sounds that you can add. So let's say that right there. If I add that to the sub sound, it'll give it more impact. And then of course I can mix the volume here on the level that I want. And pardon if you hear like little crackles, it has to do with, with the driver app you use to record this video. But rest assured there's no crackles in this tool. So yeah, loads of different uh, sub sounds here. Let's just get into these bass sounds. So I'm gonna turn the sub back off. Now you could keep this on and layer the sounds together, but I just wanna kind of show you some of the separate sounds available to you. And as you can see here, we've got 75 different uh, bass sounds here. Of course, you can adjust the sustain and decay. And once again, you can layer the sounds together. So if you'd like that sound, but you want to try layering it with a second bass sound, you could come over here, which is basically a clone of this, uh, but you could choose through the same presets. So we've got, and then I can, So it can add some subtle complexity to the sound. Just adds a little dirt or grit if you want or however you want to mix it. And then bass three is a whole extra selection of bass sounds. This has 21 more sounds here. We'll turn these off by bringing this to zero. Very cool stuff. Spent a lot of time uh, sampling all these sounds to give you uh, the best that I could come up with. The next layer is the acid line sound and you can play it in by keyboard or program uh, MIDI part in with this. So if I just uh, play it with the keyboard. Let me just go ahead and run Sting here, which will create uh, acid lines for you in whatever key you would like. So right now it's in the key of F, so all I gotta do is click this. And then when I hit play, Don't go, 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 don't go
so forth. So yeah, this will generate different acid lines for you. And then you can use the de density and the length and type to get a lot of different options here. So it's a really great tool to add to this, but you can use it with this or without, totally up to you. It's just an easier way to get some ideas happening uh, really quickly in whatever key you're working in. And then once again, we've got uh, our clicks here. Uh, one is sampled clicks and the other one is synthesized uh, click sounds. And then we have the wobbler and filth step bass. And these are just really dirty synths that I designed. So just simply turn it on. And... And then we've got an arpeggiator here. So that can be on and off, obviously. And then we have the filth step, which is another dirty synth. The fine mod gives it a little bit more like a, a wobble to it. Slightly like an out of tune harmonic crush. And bit crush. So a lot of interesting sounds that are like really cut through the mix, the formants, obviously. So that's uh, Bass Machine 2.5. Once again, it's like a Swiss army knife of bass tones that you can use really quickly to make uh, great sounds. It's really simple to use once you kind of get the hang of it. Obviously, you've got some uh, fine tuning that you can do in this section as well, adding filter drive and different low pass, high pass sort of stuff. So. There is, it is available now. So if it's something that you're interested in, uh, feel free to, to grab it and start using it in your own productions.